Hello everyone, my name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This series is a series of plotting tutorials using Matplotlib and Python. And now in this tutorial, we, I'll be talking to you all about a concept called as hill shading or topographic shading. Let's say you have some kind of a topography data. That is some that is a region. Uh, I mean uh, the the mountains and valleys and peaks of a particular region. Or you are some kind of an oceanographer who likes to look at the bathymetry or the surface uh, sea sea floor surface features like the ridges, continental shelf, continental uh, uh, shelves, reliefs and barriers or something like that all of if you want to look at all of that okay and you have the data when you want to visualize them properly then most of the time uh, a simple contour fill plot will not be helpful to look at the features properly in those kind of cases you need a little bit of an external light lighting effect to make the con uh, topography or the relief features appear a little more but cleanly than uh, cleanly than usual so in those kind of cases, the option that it, that you need is called as hill shading. The methodology is called as hill shading or topography shading, and we I'll, we'll talk about this topic in this video in this video today. So for this, we need what you call as a light. We need to use we're going to use this option called as light source and the command called as I am show to get the best heat out of it. What I've done here is I just have my small I have a program over here. I'm just going to walk you through what's happening over here. Okay. I just have a data called as eTopo2.io, which has the topography. I mean, which has the bathymetry. Uh, that's, that is actually the topography of the, what's happening in the sea surface, sea surface of the Indian Ocean over here. So, how do I got this? I just take Google. I just go to Google and type APDRC. It stands for Asia Pacific Data Research Center. Click this link, and then over here, click data. Then go to uh, all data sets, and then over here, there is this option called as bathymetry. And then bathymetry, there are like three data sets over here. You can pick any one of them and just go with eTopo. And there is a data set for one degree, two degree, and five degree, five degrees. And there's all of them for Indian Ocean. So I'm just going to pick la pick any one of these places. I'm just going to pick LAS. I'm going to open up a new term page. Then go to this eTopo2 option. You can pick any one of them and click next. I just had to select one and then click next. And then over here, I, I can uh, specify my regions latitude, longitude, position, latitude, longitude uh, to specify the region for which I want like to have the topography. And then instead of color plot over here, I put this to net area file. And if I click next, okay, the region for which I've selected based on these coordinates over here, that will be saved, saved to me, given to me as a net area file from which I can download and then to play around with the data by myself. So if you want to follow along with my video, you can actually use the TE topo file that I will be uploading in the repository in, a, in some time, in some time after this video. You can take that, okay? Or you can actually take up your own data, or you can take up a data from over here and then follow along with it. Nevertheless, the nevertheless, you know, you just need some data to work around with it. That's the that's the main motto. And what I've done over here is, since this is a NetCDF file, I've imported a NetCDF library instead of library and then opened up that file and then recited all the variables it had like longitude latitude time and topography data and then the, in the in the topography data wherever the data wherever the data is filled with one e33 it means it's land so i just had to put them to be nan or not a number not a number okay and that this is just the housekeeping part and the actual thing comes over here okay actual thing comes over here so by default what will happen is that uh, let's say you have some kind of a topography data Okay, if I just use uh, naive, if, if I had to use just naively, there's just a simple contour of, of option over here. And just me run this code. It'll just give me the topography to be like this. Um, if you look at it, the colors are not that neat. It's not, its colors are not that neat. And uh, I mean, colors are okay at least. But if you look at it, the st divisions between the continental ridge, the, I mean, the continental ridges, uh, the, the kind of just the uh, ups and downs of the plains and valleys they are not that neat okay they're not that neat you don't get this topography like feel you just get them as some kind, of, some kind of a plot but you don't get the topography feel sometimes if you ask me like uh, along with the contour if i put just a contour and then colors equals k let's see how that goes equals k let's see how this goes now if i run this fella over here okay 
now I get some features but if, but on the other hand if you look at it, it's too noisy because there are so many small small features over here the black lines just make it too uh, congested so I, I mean the black lines are actually making it uh, harder to harder for me to visualize them okay so this is how you get but is there any other way I can go go about with it there is pos there is a possibility for that let me use this option colors uh, I am sure I am sure what it does is that it just shows up an image. So if you have some data and you want the data to be plot to be shown like an image, but not like a plot, let's say, or like a computer plot, but more like a more like an image. Okay, use this I am sure option. Okay, I'll talk about I am sure in a separately in another part in another video. Okay, for now just keep keep in mind that I am sure helps you to show a data in the form of an image or show an image in directly. So I put the origin to be at left or lower so that it starts from 0 comma 0 at the top, lower right lower left corner okay and then I give a color node to be just on um, just a earth any color node will that do if I run this particular code the color node looks okay color nodes looks fine and I get the I get the image to be a little neater but if you look at it it's um it's not very uh, how do I say topography like you get the it get more like a plot but you don't get it look you don't get it looking looking like a topography yet. The reason why is because we need what you call as a light source. That is, imagine if you have some topography and uh, the topography features look good if there is some kind of a light source, uh, light source like the sun or the moon, uh, sparking sparking light. Okay, for that we need this light source option over here. So I import from matplotlib.colors, I've imported this command function colors light source. <coughs> so I created a, I create a handle handle for it called as LS, which actually light source, and I put two angles into it. They're called AZ degree and AZ dig and alt dig. AZ degrees actually stands for the azimuth angle in degrees, whereas alt dig stands for the altitude angle in degrees. So what you have to mention, what does this mean is as follows. If you have a, some kind of a light source, let's say a bulb or a flashlight, or if you have an actual topography, let's say the sun, okay, you just have to specify uh, uh, what is the azimuth angle of the sun over here. So to understand the simple, understand the simple, you, you keep this, if your sun is exactly at north, you keep the angle, the azimuth angle to be zero. If the sun is at, if your sun is at 90 degrees, let's say, from with your, with your current location, if you put, you put the azimuth angle to be 90. If you keep the sun, if the sun is at south, let's say, of your location, if you keep it at 180 degrees, that is perfectly to your south, you keep it at 180 degrees. And if the sun is exact, if the sun is exactly at your east, you keep it 270 degrees. So the measure the angle in counterclockwise direction for the azimuth. And then for this altitude, it's very obvious. If the sun is very close to the surface. You put it close to the close to the surface, but at uh, what do you call us uh, at sunrise position, you keep it zero. And if it's and as as in and but if it's in the rising side from between sunrise and noon, the angle is between zero and ninety. Zero and ninety. And if the angle is in the, the angle is between ninety and one eighty, it means the sun is actually setting. Sun is actually setting. So if I keep my altitude to be 20 degrees, it means the sun makes the line joining the sun and the observer U and the, and the between line joining the angle between the surface and the line joining the sun and the observer that is U is actually 20 degrees in counterclockwise direction. So if I keep the angle to be at 20 degrees, it means the sun just came out of just sun just rose up from the sun rays and it's actually in the lower part of this atm lower part of the sky. That's what it means. Now if I put immediately put a light source, okay. This command won't work directly, so I just have to use this I am show option. And inside this, there's an option called as inside that I'm using this ls and then put this hill shade and then I pass in the variable topo topo two. And I here for this option, I just put the vertical exaggeration, which is vert exact to be one. I'll talk about this in a second. And now if I run this, check this out. Now this region looks more like um, how do I put it? Now this region looks more like a uh, uh, topography really topographic region topography now I can clearly see that uh, you know this region looks more like a topographic plot or a re relief plot wherein I can see the continental ridges coming out nicely there are if there are any features on the surface like marks ridges all of them marks ridges or any can 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 canals or something like that 
okay or any pathways on the surface i can i'll be able to clear this clearly see it. if there are any uh, i mean grasslands not grasslands if there are plain flat surfaces such as this region over here i will be able to see all of them very clearly and distinctively over here and other feature is that because i put the lighting effect remember the sun is uh, the sun is at west sun is at west and at 20 degrees so this so they had what you have to imagine is the sun is on the western side and it's 20 degrees so it's gone the slowly it's going to be a sunset as a consequence the shadow is on the east side of the east side of this land so if, if you look at my if you look at india the shadow of the land is actually on the east side similarly in the similarly on the continent uh, on the con east coast of uh, Aust africa africa and on the on the southeast asia i don't have, i don't see a shadow these regions which are pretty white over here these get the maximum in, intake of sunlight and that's a con they're they're actually shining so you don't get the shadow regions over here similarly wherever we have a relief feature the shadows on the uh, e shadows on the east and now what i do is if i just take the azimuth angle and put this to let's say 270 degrees it means now the sun is on the east and it's 20 degrees so the sun is actually on the uh, rising side Sun is sun just rose up and it's rising, and as a consequence, the shadow the shadow completely flips in direction. And now the co east the the eastern coast of Australia, I mean sorry, eastern coast of Africa, Madagascar, and the Indian and the Indian Peninsula, even in the Gulf. Okay, these regions get more light, more light, and uh, the western coast of these regions get the shadow. Especially if you can clearly see the Southeast Asian regions do get a shadow cleanly over here and also in the indian peninsula region also gets a shadow clearly on the west side okay with this will be very obvious over madagascar and over these re over these past regions over here so this way you can actually uh, with a little bit of a trial and error you can actually specify uh, your azimuth angle azimuth angle and your altitude angle to pick up whichever la whichever location whichever lighting effect you want Second thing that we're going to talk about is the vertical exaggeration, which is called as vert underscore exact. What this does is you just give a value between 0 0.1 and 10, and this will make sure that your uh, highlands and lowlands are exact. Highlands are actually ex exaggerated. Let's say you have some kind of a mountains, mountain features, let's say, and you want to distinguish them very clearly by looking from others. You like what you like to do is you just like to exaggerate the height a little more, and this is actually a coefficient that helps you to do that. The more the value, the more will be the exaggeration. So if you have a lot of mountains, let's say, if the more is vertical uh, exaggeration, the higher will be the contrast with the mountains with Ganga compared to other. And if you put this vertical exaggeration to be two units, rather we have feel really highland features, let's say, like these continental re continental sh re uh, continental shelves, or continental re I mean continental re ridges like these. Um, they, I mean, ocean ridges, I guess, ocean ridges. They appear to be a little more uh, stark, uh, stark, and uh, appear a little more brighter and distinct when compared to the usual. So, if you notice these regions over here, in earlier part they were slightly little low. I mean, not that visible. Now they're popping out and they're appearing more visible, distinct when compared to other regions because these are this bigger, smaller. And earlier it was used to be smaller. And if I keep this to exaggeration to be ten, which is actually is much bigger value. Okay, these regions appear even more uh, distinctively. Although after a particular point, you might not see much difference. But the point is, where you uh, you can actually uh, control and manipulate these features to make sure that the plot looks as good as 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 bad as you like it. And the other option you can have over here is the color map. Okay, instead of using a simple uh, color, instead of using any color map, you use a gray color map. Let's say that helps a lot. In the sense. You will get the feel of the topography nicely, with the, especially with the shadows. And if you use a color map, let's say you may not, you may be able to uh, distinguish them. But if you use a simple color map like gray, you'll be able to notice the features more, more cleanly, more clearly. So just a matter of aesthetic point. It's, a, it's more of an aesthetic point of view. You can just pick any color map you like. Gray turns out, gray turns out to be good because all the colors being homogeneous, you'll be able to see the shadows properly. You're able to see the shadows properly. And uh, these are all on the options called as hill shade, and there's another option called as just shade, and this helps. This helps for this helps for plots which are which do not have need which um, how do I put it has some kind of a mathematical data in it. 
let's say you have an actual relief topography let's say and uh, you and you want to plot it this hill shade option is more than good but if you have some data which is not uh how do i put it not an actual topography but more of a mathematically created topography okay which has some kind of function behind it something like that hill shade option helps you to look at that better and uh, all other con all other terms just like what we saw they are exactly the same the only option we have is uh, the blend mode so what does this blend mode does is that it will help you to blend the region uh, the highlands and lowlands carefully with each other okay so if you have some high region high regions like these there are some of the relief features blend modes decide how these blend how these regions are going to blend in the colors of this highlands and lowlands they're going to blend in with others especially the surroundings so you look at it when compared to the hill shade option over here this blend mode option with hsv blend mode okay shade option they make it look a little more better whether look a little more better and sharper when compared to the previous one they compared to the previous one all right and there are three methods over here blend mode uh, three methods of blend modes like hsv soft and overlay they have slightly different features although i'm not able to see much difference between them okay I mean, possibly because I'm just working on this only for some time, but not for a long time. Okay, the difference is that the difference is that each of them have their own smoothing effect. Okay, a soft blend mode makes it a soft a blend mode makes it the makes the transitions a little smoother, so they're not they're not pretty sharp. Overlay, I guess it's kind of similar to <coughs> <coughs> overlay is kind of similar to the soft blend mode, I suppose. But uh, the only thing, but what happens is that overlay makes sure that uh, they are they not merged to they not merged together. They are like laid on top of each other. So wherever we have topography regions, they appear a little more sharper when compared to others. Whereas the HSV mode is actually I think it's a combination of these two. Uh, uh, this is soft. Okay, and let me put this to be just earth. Let us see what the difference is. Run this. Okay, okay. HSV. I mean, HSV does not give much of a color shade. I suppose much of a color shade. Okay. There's actually only a small difference between them, but depending upon your scenario, each of each one of these plot shades can help you different help you out differently. Now imagine uh, the difference between a making a counter looking at a relief feature by a data like this and by using a data by using a counter plot like this one there see clearly there clearly there is a big difference so whenever you have some kind of a topography always use this i am show option and this light source option and then go about with working with the hill shade and the shade option this will help you to get the best topography results uh, for you to look at okay now that's all i have for you all in this video thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time in another interesting video uh, until then take care